What up, it's your boy Carrie Too Smooth. If you're watching this channel, that means you really want to learn how to play R&B, Neo, Soul, and or Gospel. So today we're going to go over this uh, Kiara Sears song called Hang On. Um, it's a really, really cool song. I actually had an opportunity to work with her at the last Woman That Are Loose um, conference here in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, we had to play this song and I was like, yo, this would be a great lesson to teach because it's funky, it's cool, it's fun, and it's got some really cool diminished chords in there though. Like, I love to play, so. Um, let's no further ado. Let's just hop on in the song. So the song is in the key of F sharp major. All of that, cool. Right. So we're gonna play the chords. Actually, matter of fact, I'm gonna let you hear the song and then I'll break it down and, and tell you what I'm doing. All right, cool. <laughs> So there's a couple things that I want you to focus in on. There's that lick. All right, again, that we gotta make sure we nail that lick down. Do, 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 do. We're not gonna play it so staccato. chords that we're going to be playing is I like to use a number system if you're not that well versed in a number system I highly encourage you checking out some of my courses it just makes the language of guitar a little bit simpler a little bit easier to understand and know where to kind of place your hands when you're when you're playing so we're in the key of F sharp I'm going to start on that too three four I'm going to go flat six this chord for the voicing. Sometimes I go to my four down here. That diminished. If I want to do it, instead of me doing that lick, if I want to play the chords, let's go four, three, two. So good too for your four. It's like you're playing your sixth chord, like that minor, but then in the bass, on the E string, you want to put that four. Some people play it this way. I play it this way before I like the hammer on. It's the same chord, it's just how you position your hands. So again, that lick. Those chords. Back to the four. So now when I'm playing the four, I, when I'm playing along with the band, I try not to make sure that I'm getting in the bass player's way so I won't play that bass note all the time. I'll just play the rest of the meter of the chord. One of my 
my favorite kind of triad movements. <laughs> going to show and introduce a lick for like my more advanced guys we did this lick i it's not necessarily in the song but it's in the live arrangement um we're gonna start on that too get on that chord we're gonna go to that diminished gave you a lot go back and rewind slow it down digest it dissect it and it's really going to make a lot of sense so let's just hop right in okay <laughs> As you can see, that song is funky. Again, I gave you a lot of sauce. I gave you a lot of nuggets. If you love lessons like this, please leave a comment and let me know. So that I can do more stuff like this, man. Love you guys, man. Hope you guys subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please do me a huge favor. Subscribe and share it with your friends. All right, man, y'all take care. Have a great week. Hi there, I'm Kerry, and thank you so much for watching this video. There's so much awesome content on this channel that's gonna help you unlock the fretboard and play the way that you've always wanted to play. So go ahead. Click the subscription button and the bell right over here and keep getting more awesome videos and the content that I'm going to post at least once a week. So thank you for watching. Keep on practicing and I'll see you soon.